Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. So this is a diesel engine that I am working on getting going for a project and the piece of equipment that this came out of, it had like a big hydraulic pump uh, attached to here. And uh, that's no longer gonna be used. So I had made a block off plate out of some steel and I cut just a piece of paper, like a piece of old thick cardboard that's not corrugated as a gasket. Um, hasn't started leaking yet, um, but I do see it saturated down here. Uh, and I'm concerned about this cardboard breaking up and ending up in the oil. Um, it's not gasket material. I probably could get a sheet of gasket material and cut a gasket for this, but I've seen other people use TPU to make gaskets and I'd like to give it a shot here. So let's go ahead and get this steel cover plate off, uh, get the paper gasket out of here and get some rough measurements. I have a paper template that I use to create the uh, the block off plate here in steel. Uh, so I think what I'll do is probably just get the, the major measurements uh, written right onto that sheet and we'll go from there. Okay, so the good news is there's not much oil in here. Um, I think this, uh, this area here is open to the crankcase and there's probably a passage here that gets pressurized lubricant into this bearing somewhere, um, but it doesn't appear to be hitting this with any real pressure, which is great news. This seems to be a great uh, use case for a TPU gasket. I would be concerned if this was under a lot of pressure. Maybe it would work fine, I don't know. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience testing TPU gaskets. This is my first uh, foray into uh, using TPU to make a gasket like this. All right, so here's the uh, the paper template that I used uh, to make the, uh, the steel uh, plate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this um, as sort of a rough drawing uh, to capture the, the key measurements for this face here. So I picked this up at a, an estate sale, I believe. Um, and a lot of people will walk right past this stuff thinking, I, I don't know who would use that. It looks like it's from 1950. Um, well, these are still relevant. Uh, I don't know if you saw me struggling there trying to get a measurement with the, uh, the calipers of the, uh, the width of this casting. I can't get the jaw of the caliper uh, close enough to the edge of that to get a measurement. But tools like this, they're not really designed to, to give you the measurement. They're designed to capture the measurement and then you read the measurement um, on these uh, after you've removed it. They get into tighter spots. I have all different kinds of calipers like this uh, for this purpose, for both inside and outside. There we go. So that just touches there now at the widest point. So now I'll take the measurement between there uh, with the digital caliper and I'll have the OD that I need with the ID of these calipers now.
All right, and here we are, V1. So you can see probably the two most important things, the, uh, the threaded holes here, because that's what's actually gonna hold this plate on. You can see we are good on those. Uh, we're also good here on the outside diameter, uh, and we are good from top to bottom. Where we are not quite good uh, is we're a little bit shy on material here. So I'm going to mark that to make that easy to adjust. And I think, see down here as well, also by just a little bit. All right guys, and here is the V2 design all set to print. So I can hear you guys yelling at your screen that I didn't need to draw this from scratch. Uh, I'm, I'm aware that you can take a picture, uh, scale it, and uh, import it into Fusion 360 or editor of your choice and either trace the drawing or actually import it as an SVG if your contrast is high enough. It's never quite perfect, uh, particularly when you're working with a photo. If you have something you can actually remove, pop on a scanner bed, I think you can get pretty close. But in this case, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Uh, but I kind of geeked out a bit on trying to figure out how this was originally drafted. You know, it's not like someone drew this freehand. And what I ultimately figured out, if you could see me, uh, you know, trying all different sorts of guides and attempts at getting the exact dimensions uh, with the curves that they had, it seems they start with a diamond shape. Uh, and then draw concentric circles, uh, including uh, this face here, which I thought was the larger diameter um, from top to bottom. It ended up being slightly different. I'm wondering now if maybe they actually take uh, the same size as this diameter and shift it down and then shift it up with the same curve, because it's a lot closer uh, to that. But uh, starting with the diamond shape, I did end up dead on with these straight sections here. So. I, I don't know why I geek out on stuff like that, but uh, in the end, I am really happy with the end result, and uh, it was just kind of fun trying to figure out how they had drawn it in the first place. So, all right, let's go get this printed. All right, so I've got what I think is a secret weapon here to get uh, a really smooth finish on the uh, the gasket. So uh, I covered this before when I did the, uh, the TPU patch for a car bumper. Um, but I've got a steel sheet here that I picked up a while back. That's the brand of this one. It doesn't matter what you get. There's a bunch of these I've seen on, on Amazon. I'll, I'll find one and link it below if you're interested. Um, but I took one side of the sheet and I covered it with uh, a large sheet of Kapton. Uh, I bought this and let's see, these are 9 by 12. Um, I will, I'll link this down in the description below as well. This was a bear to get on the steel sheet without any bubbles, and there are no bubbles. Um, I think it took me two tries. I think I ended up having like a, a liquid underneath that I floated it on um, and then squeegeed it out. Uh, it took a while, but it's camera's probably not picking it up, but it is really smooth. I have gotten glass-like finish uh, with TPU on this sheet before, and it comes right off the bed, no problems. So let's get started. <music> All right, guys, the uh, TPU one is done, and I don't know if I can get it in the light just the right way here, but this guy is just like a glass finish on one side, perfectly smooth. Um, and then on the other side, uh, we've got a you know pretty smooth finish um, from the 0.1 millimeter layer height of the TPU on top. So I've got pretty good confidence that this guy's gonna hold up. And this is the, uh, the V2 uh, revised design, um, which should fit better, but let's find out. 
Oh yeah, that is about as perfect, uh, I think, as it could be uh, without having the original design. And there's probably some variation in the casting uh, here anyway. So, all right, uh, let's get the, uh, the steel plate on here and uh, tighten up the bolts. All right, you guys are probably gonna ask how tight did I make these bolts and how thick did I make the gasket? And the reality is I don't think there's any universal answer to that question. Um, I just snugged these tight uh, just till it started to crush the TPU a little bit. Um, and as far as thickness, I went pretty thin because I've got uh, a nice machined face, um, you know, and another real smooth face back here on this steel plate, and it's not too big. Um, I think it's really gonna depend on the application for how thick you go. Uh, unfortunately, I can't test this under pressure yet because I don't have this engine running. I do have it turning over, but I don't have it running yet. Um, but I don't expect any leaks here. Uh, again, this area is not under pressure. It's basically just got to stop the oil from, uh, from dribbling out. So, All right, guys, thanks for hanging out in the shop with me today. Really pleased with the end result here. I'd like to try this some more. I might see if I can get a hold of just two pipe flanges uh, that I can maybe apply some pressure to. Uh, sort of like, uh, you know, just an enclosed section of pipe and try different print settings, try different materials, things like that. But, uh, you know, as a, as a first go at it, I'm really pleased with the result here uh, that I've got doing this in TPU. So if you enjoyed this, uh, please consider hitting that, that thumbs up button. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel already and you enjoyed this video, I do one every Friday. I do something like this in the shop, something in the house, uh, something out in the yard. Uh, generally just fixing something or making something better or adding functionality to it. So guys, if you do hit that subscribe button, thanks, and I will see you next Friday.